Andy, I bought that. I love it. The Samsung T1. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I bought the terabyte one. I have my my whole life is on this thing. Yeah, I mean it's 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 been a, a bit of not a, I wouldn't say a game changer, but I've gone from bringing a terabyte external drive if I think I'm going to need it to just always having it. I should I should point out that uh, some uh, Twitter followers uh, pointed out that Samsung has announced but not shipped yeah. or given a price yet on a USB C yeah. version of that same drive, uh, but I can't imagine it's going to be cheaper than 165 dollars for up to two terabytes. For terabyte. Yeah, but come on, it's, Andy, it's, you know it's you okay. want it. I think you should definitely buy one. You're, oh, you're I will. Absolutely right. You should <laughs> oh, definitely buy one and tell me how you like it. I even have a Minecraft server on here in case I ever want to just play oh, Minecraft. Man. Yeah, that's nice. a ter that's all my documents from my uh, my 5K MacBook Mac uh, Retina. Now, I a number of people tweeted after you recommended this, uh, and uh, appropriately that was it nine to five Mac. Somebody said as you did. Uh, I'm Mac, I Mac Observer. Mac Observer. I don't trust this thing because you have to install Samsung drivers on it on the Mac to use it and on Windows by the way to use it. Well you don't But you, you don't, don't have, have to. to. You have to to what wipe it, it though, right? Well what what it is is that this is a standard it's a standard drive. It, however, it uh, supports two brand new uh, uh, storage features, low-level storage features that macOS does not support yet. So, if you want smart, if you want smart, if you also want this new uh, uh, S, this this new uh, uh, solid-state protocol that will make certain kind of writes and reads faster, but not necessarily in all cases, then you want those two drivers. The stupid thing that I think Samsung did was making it so that the only visible partition on the ship drive is the 128 right. megabyte partition that just has the installer on it. Well, I so can tell you, you why they did that. I know why they did that. For the encryption. So, yeah, that, that so, too, but that's... That's something standard for pretty much every drive. There, there's so many drive. Almost every drive that has, supports encryption will have some sort of thing that it wants you to walk through in order to get the right. encryption working. And I, but I initially took it off. I did what you did, which is I installed it on just one Mac, wiped it, made a terabyte drive, and then I looked at all the whole disk encryption solutions out there, and I ended up putting the Samsung software back on it because uh, it's you certainly you don't want to carry around. I mean, I got the big one, which means my whole life is on here. I don't want to carry that around unencrypted be easy enough to well, lose and right? does it does it affect speed to have it encrypted? no i looked at benchmarks uh it does not hmm. um, that's another reason you use yep. a samsung kernel extension i agree with you andy it makes me nervous to put a yep. samsung kernel extension on my mac but they say it's based on apple's open source drivers yeah i, I looked at the i looked at the drivers i don't have the, i don't have my notes in front of me but i i wouldn't put it on my own computer if i weren't able to trust the drivers or weren't able to remove them there are actually instructions on how to remove the drivers right in the readme doc that comes up on the on the samsung installer right. so if you don't want it, uh, it it is it is annoying you run the installer it'll be then the entire terabyte will be visible and then at that point you can just simply run disk utility reformat it to a it, it, it also ships as a fat volume which is what most uh, drive ship as you can reformat as a mac os journaled uh, volume and then at that point if you want to remove the drivers by right. all means remove the drivers i i decided uh, but, i opted to stick with the drivers i put it on all my macs uh in fact i i like hfs plus so much that i formatted <laughs> it that way and bought paragon's uh driver for windows so i can use it on a windows machine um and so you'll see here what's happening if you look at my screen uh you plug in the t1 and you get this little it's this is the 128 uh, meg, uh, gig part what is it, 128 gigs 128 megs i can't remember megs, yeah. meg partition uh that annie said and that's what all you see because what's on there is the mac and windows uh software to unlock it and then you enter your password here and it unlocks it and you don't you can show it because uh, it's all it's just dots uh and then and then at that point you see it mounts the full terabyte which is awesome and now it's transparent and i can continue to use it until i unmount it um, I think it's just really. Yeah. The, the only the only advice I always don't, I, the advice I give to anybody who encrypts an external drive is make sure you're only using that for data that you are religiously mm -hmm. backing up. Oh yeah. Because the only thing you re, the only thing especially on an SSD you're not giving up a lot of speed, which is something that is a problem with a mechanical drive. But it does mean that if you do lose the password, and remember you might put this in storage for a couple of years and forget about it, but then want to get it back. Uh, re you you really can't get get data back off of an encrypted drive if you don't have the password or if something happens. But that's to what data. you want. I mean, 
That makes well, me that, happy that, to know what, that. That's what you want. They're, 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 yeah. I, I do have I do have certain volumes that are encrypted because I will have like financial data on them. But right. they're number like literally like ten feet away from me. I have a briefcase and a briefcase that has just nothing but like a dozen, dozen and a half different like pocket and external drives because I do I try to be careful about migrating photos and documents from one machine to another when I upgrade hard drives or upgrade great computers. But the number of times where I need something from 2007, and if I were a lot more clever, I would have a folder on a server marked 2007 photos, but I'm not clever. But thank goodness I have a FireWire external drive that is unencrypted that I, have, that I don't need to get the password for that can just plug in and get back everything that I had in 2007. So it, dep it depends. You have to manage all of the problems that might be in your workflow. One of them might be dropping your that drive and getting it stolen. Another might exactly. be forgetting that... <laughs> that that prawn salad cocktail is is supposed to be your password, but you keep getting the 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 number ones and number zeros wrong, and so you keep thinking that you're going to have to lose all your data. I'm just so happy it's not a portable platter with a super high failure rate anymore, which used to happen all well, the exactly. time. Well, exactly, and it's bus yes. powered terabyte. I mean, you don't yep. have to get the terabyte. I, you can get there's two fifty six and five twelve, I think, or what? Actually, they kind of nicely. Get the terabyte. They, yeah, I had yeah. three fail in a month once. It was just oh. unbelievable, and that's it. And this is so much better. Seagate. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is the like Samsung uh, EVO 950, uh, 850. This is an SSD that is considered yeah. widely considered to be the best on the market, or at least one of the top two on the market, and has been used happily in many of my systems for years, yeah. a couple of years. So it's a good, yeah. it's this a good drive. My, my failure point uh, is has been ever since I started using MacBooks that have internal SSDs. I'm used to just being able to pick it up and carry it off without. Yes. Having to look for a blinking light to stop, and the number of times I've almost lost like a half a terabyte of data because I forgot that I had a, a spinning hard drive full of like backed up photos connected. <laughs> I was like, I'll, I'll actually lift it up. I'll be half off the sofa. They're like, if not for the fact that I plugged in a three foot long USB cable, I'd be very very sad right now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but you don't you don't have to care about it when the external is an SSD as well. Yeah, especially traveling in bags and going to shows and things. Those discs would just get yep. battered around, and now it's so great. I keep my Bitcoin wallet on here, my 1Password vault on here, my PGP keys on here. So it needs to be encrypted. But that, yeah. but having that in your pocket is great. Yeah. And my Minecraft server. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that needs to be encrypted, stuff. definitely. Because no one wants to be, no one wants to mess with your pyramid. Ha hacking I mean, you hacking know, my it's... pyramid, man. Don't be hacking my pyramid. Uh, I even have uh, uh, images for my Windows 10 install on this. It's so big. Nice. <laughs> yeah, no... virtual. When you have a, when you have a terabyte, you can also put like virtual machines for just about everything. Yes. And so it's like I, I, I love. This is why when I bought the uh, iPad Pro, I didn't even consider getting anything less than the largest amount of storage I could have because the real power of of uh, these devices is when you don't even have to ask yourself, should I have this data on here? When it's like, I can definitely have a Windows 10 and a Windows 7 virtual machine uh, on this on this drive because who knows, maybe I'll want to actually run either one of those. If I had like the 256 gig or the 512, I might be thinking, okay, well that might leave less room for movies or what if I get, no, no, forget it. You forget look, it. This is, this, is the, this, is the, this is like a wish that gives you infinite wishes. 